Hey everyone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own screen for screen printing, and you can do it for under $5. So keep watching, and I'll show you step-by-step -step how to make it. Now, making a screen for screen printing is a very simple process. This one I actually purchased online for about $15, and it's nothing more than some wood and shaped in a frame. This is a 10 by 14 inch uh, screen. It's wood and it's silk screen, that's it. Um, it's a very simple thing to do, so I decided to make my own. And here's one I made totally on my own. And you just make the frame and you put the silk screen in. The silk screen is probably the most expensive thing you'll buy out of it, but you get three yards makes about 20 of these screens, maybe even more if it's smaller. So uh, it's well worth it if you're going to be making multiple screens. So to do this, you can get some wood. I'm using one by two. You can use bigger pieces of wood or smaller pieces of wood, but just make sure it's big enough that you can make it into a frame and still staple along the back side of your uh, frame. The first thing I'm gonna do is start off with, this is a one by two, meaning one inch this way. It's listed as a two inch, but when it's a two inch, you take off a half inch, so it's really an inch and a half by six feet in length. Now this is gonna make one screen. So we gotta do, we gotta cut two pieces that are 10 inches long and two pieces that are 17 inches long. And this is gonna give us our 14, or 10 by 14 frame. So just take your tape measure. All right, so with our tape measure, we just want to measure out 10 inches. It's hard to do with one hand but measure out 10 inches and we'll draw a line with a pencil. So here's our 10 inch mark. Pull our tape measure off and you can go to a straight edge. There we go. Now we gotta do is cut this. And I'm gonna use a power saw, but you could use a hand saw if you'd like. Now we're just gonna measure out 17 inches on this, and then we'll draw a line and cut it. Now just lay out your wood pieces and set it up just like the frame, just to make sure everything's cut in order. And once it's laid out, then we can move on. What I like to do is draw two holes on the top where my screws are gonna go in, just to make sure they line up correctly. Then I also like to draw one solid line between the two pieces of wood. That way after I drill the holes and I take it apart to put the glue on, it can match right back up in the same exact spot. Now you want to use a drill bit that's one size smaller, thinner than your actual screws. This way the screws will still hold into the wood. Just clamp two pieces together and carefully drill two of the holes. Now just smear some wood glue in between the two pieces of wood and this is just going to add as extra support. It's not 100% uh, necessary, but it will help. Line your two pieces of wood up using that line that we drew. And then come in with the screws. I also like to put a little bit of wood glue on the screws itself. 
and then screw them in. Then just repeat this for all the sides until your frame is intact. Next I have the screen and I got that online at Amazon and it's real thin. This is what we're going to use. And you can see this is quite a lot and it's enough to make at least 20 screens. So it doesn't look like much when it says three yards, but it is a lot. We want to line it up with our frame, put our frame over top of it and we want to cut a piece that's just a little larger than our frame. Put the rest away so it doesn't get messed up. Now just take a staple gun and we want to start on the top and put a staple in. And then we want to pull it snugly towards the bottom and put another staple at the bottom just to kind of hold it in place. And as you go down, staple, leaving them about an inch or two apart and you want to pull on it to keep it snug. Now we can move on to the other end and pull on it snugly there, put a staple there. And then go across. Now the bottom piece you really want to pull snugly, but you want to make sure you don't pull so much that you rip the screen out of the staples. But pull it tight and staple along that side. Now you'll know if your screen is tight enough if you can drop a pen or a pencil on it and it bounces up. And then I go along and I just trim up the sides to get all that excess screen out of the way. Just to go over the prices of this, this one piece of wood, which was six feet long, it's a one by two by six, cost me about $2.50. And that made one, one whole frame plus another 17 inches for another frame. And this mesh, which is silk screen for screen printing, this cost me about $12 for three yards, which can make at least 20 screens. So when you divide it up, that's about 60 cents each screen. And plus the $2.50 for the wood, that's $3.10 total. Now, of course, I'm not including the staples for the staple gun. That's a small fractional cost. I, I can't even get into what that is because I already had them on hand. Um, any materials you might have to buy as well. Uh, hopefully, you already have a saw, you already have a staple gun, and you don't need to buy any materials. And that's it. That's all you need to make your silk screen for under 5 bucks. And frankly, it's under $4. <laughs> so yeah, real cheap. There you have it. There is the one I made with my left hand. And the one in my right hand is the one I had purchased online. If you want to go about purchasing it, you can just follow the link in the description below. You can purchase your own screen. You don't have to go through making it. But it's really simple to do. You can make it under $5. And it's really cheap.